Hey guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com and today I want to talk about something that is a huge topic right now, the coronavirus, aka COVID-19, um, and exercise, and the immune system, and chronic pain, and how to boost your immune system, how to, if you can even do that, and what, how does exercise impact our life, our body, when it comes to preventing something like this? Can you start working out right now to boost your immune system to prevent getting something as serious as the coronavirus. And today in this video, I want to give you some, honestly, break down some myths that we have kind of been led to believe about our immune system and how we can boost it. And also, what can you do strategically right now, immediately to help with preventing the coronavirus or being infected with the coronavirus? And what can you do and what can you not be afraid of when it comes to what you're doing inside the gym or exercise or working out in general and your health to protect yourself? So on the topic of chronic pain, we're talking about people who have low back pain. My audience is people who have chronic low back pain, people who, who fight every day with the stress and fear and anxiety around their pain. And that alone, having chronic pain, having a chronic situation such as low back pain, that is a stressor in itself. That causes stress on the body. Stress on the body does suppress the immune system. It does impact the immune system in a negative way. So when it comes to something like chronic pain, whether it be low back pain or any other kind of chronic issue, we know that it causes stress, right? And higher levels of stress, especially on a chronic basis, we're talking about a suppressed immune system. Like there's, it's very simple. Like if you're dealing with that kind of stress in your life all the time, your immune system is being hurt. And on top of that, we have people who are on medication for their chronic pain. Maybe it, it is for inflammation. Inflammation alone in the body increases stress, increases anxiety, which can also suppress or, or make our immune system not as strong as it could be. While we face this pandemic of coronavirus, COVID-19, and chronic pain, stress, anxiety, fear of, of, of catching it, what should we do? There's some very clear things that you can do and some clear things that you can't do. On the topic of our immune system, there's a lot of people out there right now who are gonna try to sell you on teas and pills and, and oils that are gonna boost your immune system. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, according to science, and if you can, you wanna look this up, there's a lot of science-based medicine that you can check out on boosting your immune system that just isn't true. Eating two cups of blueberries from this day forward is not gonna prevent you from getting the coronavirus, right? Taking double the dose of vitamin C right now going forward isn't necessarily gonna prevent you from getting the coronavirus. There's no tea, there's no special supplement or shake that you can start doing right now that's gonna boost and prevent entirely you getting something like the coronavirus. So A, keep it simple. Don't worry about trying to find or, or freaking out or causing more stress trying to do all these things to increase your immune system because in reality it, there's nothing proven that says that what you're doing all this extra stuff now is actually going to work so what do you do like should you go exercise is exercise even safe I, I heard that going to exercise when you're kind of under the weather actually decreases your immune system and it makes you sicker and you're more at risk and you and you shouldn't do that after because after you work out your immune system is the weakest and that is actually a lie like that's not true there's research and studies out there right now that you can go read go to google scholar and you can find plenty of things on the internet that talk about how exercise actually helps the immune system not only in the long term but in the short term strenuous exercise helps the immune system it does not break it down you are not more susceptible from getting sick after a workout so don't fear exercise. Yeah, I understand going to the gym and, and dealing with people and germs and spitting and, and sweating and unwiped down equipment is something that you have to worry about. But the sense of exercise isn't going to hurt you. It's honestly gonna make things better, which also leads me to why you should always be exercising to begin with. You know, this, this channel is all about exercise, 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 and how powerful it is to rebuilding strength, rebuilding confidence, and building the body back up to be more resilient. So aside from 
obviously building a stronger body, building more confidence in our body, building a resilient body through exercise, what can we do right now immediately to start preventing and building our immune system up in a way that's going to actually help us? You know, in, in my opinion, and this is, I'm not a doctor, so don't take my word for it in a sense of this is the gospel, but these are just facts. When it comes to your immune system, the major key players that you can control right now, stress, anxiety, and what you're doing to keep your body healthy in a sense of what you're eating, what you're drinking, what everything that you consume, what are you doing right now? When it comes to stress and anxiety, what are you consuming? What are your eyes seeing? How much news are you watching? How many articles are you reading about the fears and anxiety and the panic around COVID-19 or the coronavirus? So besides the things like washing your hands, don't, don't kiss strangers, you know, go to the gym. It's okay to go to the gym, go work out. You're not gonna be weaker leaving there, but wash your hands, wash down your equipment, stay as clean as possible. Plant-based diets are just plant dominant diets. Low sugar, low alcohol, all of these things help your immune system. And three of my favorite are sleep, stress management, and screen time. Sleep, you need more sleep. If you can't get at least seven hours a night of sleep, that should be your focus, especially if you're stressed, especially if you're already under the weather or your anxiety is high or you deal with any level of chronic low back pain or any kind of chronic pain in general. Sleep should be a priority. If you can get at least seven hours of sleep, your life will be different. And if you can get more, that's even better. When it comes to stress, how you manage your stress, mindfulness, understanding the power that stress has on the body, how uh, stress can affect how you experience chronic pain, right? It's all kind of intertwined. And the other thing is just your screen time, which is just you is swiping, shutting, your, shutting the lights down, shutting the, your computer down and your screen down on your phone or whatever you're on as far as your device goes and just shutting everything out and just being more mindful and present in the moment to get your mind off of what's happening in the world. These are very powerful things and it's not just screen time as blue light and the dangers of blue light and trying to sleep better. Yes, that's, that's, a, that's a great strategy. But when it comes to just clearing your mind and allowing your body to just rest and your mind to rest and get away from all the panic and anxiety that's being caused by the media, by being caused by your friends, who are also afraid of the coronavirus. All of this stuff has to be shut down. You have to preserve yourself and protect yourself and be as healthy as possible so that you can go out in public and not be one of those weird people with masks and rubber gloves and, and sanitizing wipes, everything that they touch. So my goal for this video is not for you to fear the coronavirus, not for you to think that you're helpless because you have a lot of power in your actions, what you're consuming, what you're watching, how you're managing things in your life will have a big impact. But when it comes to things that you can do right now to prevent those things, the things that are going to act the fastest is managing what's here, getting out and exercising, not being afraid to be out in public, being smart about stuff, but doing the healthy things that are gonna build resilience in your immune system, gonna build resilience in your body, make you stronger. Um, those are the things that are gonna have the biggest impact right now. Don't look at all the coronavirus workouts. Those are, it's stupid. If you Google right now, coronavirus and working out, coronavirus and exercise, you're gonna find people capitalizing on the coronavirus keyword and showing you workouts to prevent it at home. It's so stupid. There's not a workout that's gonna prevent the coronavirus. It's working out, period. Smart training, taking care of your body, eating healthy. Those are the things outside of normal things like washing your hands, they're gonna have the biggest impact. So don't be sold on the hype. Don't be sold on the products because they're not gonna work. Take care of your life, take care of your mind, take care of your stress, and take care of your body. And I promise you, you, you are doing the best thing that you could possibly do during this time.